Yeah, so I write the songs well. I don't write the songs, but I think it's fair to say that I'm sort of the biggest influence, the motivator behind, it, especially for Jack. You know, if you if you think about, it, if you look at him and sort of the way he is as a person, he's was very me. I think we could say, yeah. Um, Do you get royalties for writing the song? Not yet. No, it's, no. Need to need to speak to my manager really, but that they're, they're rolling. When it happens, it happens, doesn't it? Um, you know, one thing, you, moment, you're living on the tour bus, and then the next thing, you know, you've got a mansion and fast cars, and they're not far off. So, yeah. Um, I do find him quite annoying. Um, you know, he's a friend. Well, I say friend. He's he's someone that kind of leached onto me in the early years of um, my success, and um, I kind of felt bad for him. So we we brought him some tools and stuff. You know, let him clean, just like get him out of the house, basically. Um, but really, he he is he is. Um, He's not all there for sure. There's definitely something going on. Yeah, good man. All good, yeah. What's that down there? In the crease. You know, that little thing is that like cocoa pops on it. Nice. Make sure he gets every little bit. Make sure he gets it all, yeah. Thank you. But yeah, he's he's um, you know, he can he can be helpful at times. He's he cleans not very well. Hal does a better job of cleaning. Um, Hal from Dumboy's Fishing Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's a superstar. So, uh, what do you think of Paul? Who's Paul? The, uh, the guy who cleans the bus, Norway. Oh, what, that, that little guy? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's all right. He's just kind of, I don't really know what he does. Just kind of knocks about the bus and, like, it's kind of, yeah, just gets in the way. Um, but, you know, I mean, he, 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 he went to be the cleaner of the bus, but he doesn't do fuck all. He just kind of mopes about and makes grunting noises. Um... But yeah, he seems all right. Seems all right. Boot. And uh, how do you know how from Dumboy's Fishing Club? I think he's the cleaner. I think so, yeah. No, not really seen him about, but yeah. Same thing, he's the cleaner. You know, he's uh, been calling you the cleaner. What? He calls me the cleaner. It's because I fucking have to clean up after his shit every day, mate. He leaves it knocking about like toast, bits of toast, crumbs on the floor. Yeah. I am a, a really good cook. Um, so they've basically got a Michelin star restaurant on board as well. Um, piss on the toilet seat. Can't even wipe his ass properly, I bet. Oh, for fucks! Paul! For fucks! You know, he's in a band called Dumboy's Fishing Club. Oh really? I thought that was Dan's band, but yeah, a good, a good band. Yeah, he's uh, he raps in the band. I don't know if you know that. No, uh, I didn't. Has anyone seen Paul? Uh, yeah, he's over here. Yeah. Paul. Hello, mate. I've just left all of our dirty laundry in the uh, dressing room. That's all right. It's oh. building up a little bit, so. Oh, oh yeah. If you could get on with that. Cheers. Yeah, mate. sorry, mate. Yeah, no problem. Well, it's actually, considering we had a bus party last night, or a bus rave, as we called it, um, we set up a PA and the bus was rocking until early morning. It's actually in pretty good nick, all things considered. We brought our friend Paul Sunshine, um, is that his real name? Nobody knows. And his job role is cleaner. Cleaner, cleaner. <coughs> <coughs> it's just a, just a band joke, innit? Me and Jack always making jokes and that. So, come on in to the bus. So this is where we live. This is where the artists thrive before a show and traveling. We've got all the latest mod cons. We've got a microwave, fridge freezer, toaster, two coffee machine, and scales. 
in here is the toilet. No shitting allowed, otherwise Harold has to clean it up. Um, that's outrageous that he's calling me the cleaner. Jesus. Paul, what the fuck, mate? Don't call me the cleaner behind my back, all right? We fucking established mm. this. You're the cleaner. Yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah, sorry. I, my job is to smoke weed and fucking chill out and be a rock yeah, star. Your yeah, job is to clean my shit yeah. up. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, are you, what are you sorry for? Yeah, calling you the cleaner. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's cool, mate. Remember, you're the cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Um, who are we talking about? Paul. Um, yeah, he, he'll clean and stuff, but again, it's all just something to keep him busy, really. So um, keep him off the streets. Following me upstairs. So this is my bedroom. I actually stay in the most luxurious bed, but they're all mine really. Through to the big living room. Got the TV, PlayStation, the Xbox. It's all there. And this is the master bedroom, the ensuite. Not sure why that's locked. But yeah, it's more of a, it's more of a favour than anything. Like um, I, I used to know his, his mum and dad, and um, they they kind of pulled me to one side one day and was like, "Look, we, he really needs a friend." So I said, "Okay, well, I guess that's me. I'm a, a generous person. I guess I've always given big bits of myself to the universe." And Paul needed me, and I'm here for him. I wish I never fucking bothered, but... Feel sorry for Jack, actually, so... You know, making breakfast occasionally, you know, hungry boy. So sometimes I make Jack his favourite breakfast. We get a really nice, fresh piece of seven-seeded bread, toast it lightly on each side, and then get some of the crunchiest, nuttiest, Peanut butter, obviously with no palm oil or added sugar. I should have microwaved it, really. Hey, should have microwaved the bread. Much nicer. All work and no play makes Jack a hungry boy. <laughs> Little bit of jam or jelly, and uh, he's a happy boy. Jack, breakfast is ready. What have I fucking told you, man, about fucking waking it's me breakfast. up? breakfast. Every fucking morning. Cheers. <sighs> How comes you've ended up on tour with Kick Beatrice? I mean, it's what keeps them going. You know, that's what drives them, I think. I do. Um, you know, everyone needs their, their rituals before going on stage. And yeah, they, they, they look at me and they're ready. I think we can say.